En nombre de... Now, on, on behalf of the Europe of Freedom and Democracy, for two minutes, Mr. Bloom. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. President, I wonder if you'll permit me to gallop through the working day of the average Englishman. He wakes up and he turns on his taxed telly to get the news. He leaves his heavily taxed house, gets in his heavily taxed car, he fills it with heavily taxed diesel, he gets to work to earn an income which, after income tax, employer and employer national, employee national insurance, a third of his income has disappeared. A third. He drives home and stops on the high street for a few articles for the house. His purchases are taxed at 20%. He calls in for a pint, over two-thirds of the cost of which goes in tax. He dreams of a family holiday abroad, but he can't afford the airport tax. He longs for the day that he can retire, but the politicians won't let him go. We must steal his savings, mustn't we? The financial transaction tax. The poor sap doesn't even know we've nicked it. Of course, with the Commission top salaries, income tax-free, non-contributory pension schemes, it's difficult for you, isn't it, to imagine his distress? Because you're not in this game, are you? You're not in this game. You don't pay any of this. You don't pay any of this. On a more technical note, perhaps I can pick up, Mr. President, I draw the House's attention to my own Lunatic Committee's Amendment 39 to Article 4B, the withdrawal of legal title to untaxed transactions ever, anywhere in the world. Sugar in the petrol tank, if you will. We're very much looking forward to the vote. We're watching to see which imbeciles commend it. I suspect it will be the same usual parliamentarian flat-earthers. Thank you, Mr. Bloom.